Good morning, and thanks for joining us for another edition of the West Chamber Pop-Up. We appreciate you joining us today, and I'd like to welcome Jose Rosario Garcia, who is one of our workshop leads and um, is also with Dale Carnegie. So he has provided us with a series of workshops, and thank you so much for joining us, Jose. You're very welcome. I mean, it's my pleasure just uh, add some value to the small business owners. Thank you so much. And today's location, we're at Commonwealth Coffee. So you can see the sign in the back, we're at the Broadway location. And we're enjoying such a beautiful scenery. There is a garden here, there's chickens in the background. There's yes. a big giant chicken coop. <laughs> and we'll say you've already enjoyed some coffee inside. Wow, delicious. <laughs> And I have my hot tea and my wonderful little pastry there that I'm going to enjoy in just a little bit. So, um, I think we explained. So, we've got 15 minutes to provide a little bit of wisdom to our small business owners. And I know you have a wealth of knowledge that you can offer. But what we want to get down to is right now, there's a lot of business owners that really they don't have time and they don't have money uh -huh. to invest in themselves and their staff. Can you tell us a little bit about why it's so important for even the most seasoned business owner okay. to invest in themselves and come and attend your classes and, and others? Well, in business, no matter how big are your business, there is two, three major issues that we need to be focused on. It. The first one is cash flow. We need to take care of cash flow. The second one is uh, profit. We want to make some money out of that yes. investment. And the third one, we need to build our business. If we don't do the third one, we will end up being the business instead of having a business. Meaning, no life, no joy, and sometimes no family because we're gonna focus just on the business. Right. On this third one, what you are doing on the chamber is so critical because we are putting together a series of training that might help them to build their business. That's why it's so critical for them. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Mm -hmm. And then developing your staff. Now, mm -hmm. I know that a lot of business owners say, well, if my staff isn't going to invest in themselves, then I'm just not going to do it. And I always wonder. Mm -hmm. Well, then why did you hire that staffer? Yeah. <laughs> what, what is going on? Why would you just put somebody in place and have them be responsible for your baby, uh -huh. but you're not going to invest in them or train them? Yeah. I have a, a client that has one business mm -hmm. and he decided to open the, the, other, the, the other business, I mean, another location. Yes. And then I asked him, and who's going to run it? And he said, oh, my God. I haven't talked about it. <laughs> so we need to build our staff because yes. building the business is really building our people. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's, I think there's a, a lot to be said for the emotional intelligence that wow. comes with our staff. And when we put together, as your classes are very insightful, and in, I've been in all of them, so I see how you mm -hmm. drill down and ask some really critical questions to each of the attendees about their personal lives and where they want to be. Yeah. So I think it's important to, I know this, your classes are related to Dale Carnegie, but there is, from my perspective, a lot uh -huh. of you okay. in these courses also. Well, it's, uh, I mean, re remember everybody, including the business owners, mm -hmm. they want to be better. Yes. And being better sounds very romantic, mm -hmm. but in order to do better, we need to change either our behaviors or our actions. So what, what we do there, it's uh, something that, that might help them to change or modify their habits okay. in a way that they could approach their people, their clients, their suppliers, their business in general in a better way. So in that way, we need to be really great on emotions. I mean, yes. people buy by emotions. I mean, some of her employees are very emotional sometimes. 
is fighting others means emotion. So yes. emotional intelligence means a lot in business. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I'm hoping that people will buy into that a lot more because it's so important. The difference that you see uh -huh. in a staffer mm. is, is tremendous when they have that emotional intelligence. It opens up so many doors, not even mm -hmm. not only for themselves, but also for the business. Yeah, yeah. It, it's for example now that we have millennials on the workplace, mm -hmm. it's the biggest workforce on the workplace. Yes. Well, now we need to use more what we needed to use before. Let me give you an example. I mean, everybody likes recognition. Yes. And everybody loves being recognized. Mm -hmm. Well, now, millennials, they need that daily in order to work. <laughs> but what happened with, with us, the Generation X veterans and baby boomers? Yes. We don't used to receive that much. No. So that's why we don't give them. So we are not creating the, the right workplace for millennials. One of the things that we need to do uh, in order to have the best workplace for millennials is to recognize them, even f for doing their job. Yes. For just a basic thing. For just a basic, for being on time. I mean, I don't used to have any recognition just to be on time. Right. I mean, I used to receive a punishment if I don't get on time. Yes. But now they need, well, fair or not, we should give them. Yes. It's such a switch. And actually, I mm -hmm. was on Saturday, I was just quoting you. Okay. Because I remember the, the class on Thank you. communication with millennials. Uh -huh. So, but our topic was, you would say it wasn't as relevant. So we were talking about our, our Saturday mm -hmm. development for the environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in that class, I was telling people, so why are we recycling and why are we doing things? <laughs> and we complain yeah. about all the kids. They're in front of the screen and they're not cooperating like we had to yeah. as children. But if we get a project together, if we start a garden, if we maybe renovate our home or do other things mm -hmm. and get them involved, oh, that's, that's, that helps them to be well, more that, responsible. Yeah, that's great. I mean, now, well, the, the, I mean, we, the Generation X, Millennials, Boomers, mm -hmm. we used to say that they don't have enough experience right. to share their ideas. Yes. Well, that's true, but at the same time, they are thinking all the time out of the box and that's what we need now to, for yeah. innovation i mean the experience there's a lot of great things about the experience just but just by having experience mm -hmm. will keep you in the box yes and millennials are usually 99 percent of their time out of the box yes. if you want crazy ideas like the ideas that uh, are applying in, in chick-fil-a oh, yes. i mean it's <laughs> they are closing on sundays that that's for insane. me that's a crazy yes it's crazy but they're making more they money. are making more money because people love them because they are aligned with values mm -hmm. well that's millennials ideas we need to have them yes absolutely well and then in in our age of technology the millennials are extremely well versed in technology and uh -huh. how they're reaching out to other people so yeah. this is a very positive thing that they're doing it's, it's very positive what we do have, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, Gen Xers and Boomers and veterans, we have the wisdom to connect with people, mm -hmm. and millennials might learn from us on that aspect. So, if, if we combine our wisdom to connect with people, with their ability to be out of that box and technology, mm -hmm. we will create something great. Absolutely. So tell us about some of the other classes and how they could help our business owners and members mm -hmm. and friends. Well, in our partnership and in Dole Carnegie, we have uh, uh, different areas where business owners might work on it. One of them is uh, everything related with people, connect with people, change their attitudes, lead them. Mm -hmm. I mean, how to disagree agreeably, all the things that we face in the every day yes. we have that if we don't do that well well we are working with people means we are working with emotions if yes. we don't create the, the, the right emotion on them they they won't do their job 
Right. They want, we need to create enthusiastic workplace. Mm -hmm. So we train leaders to make them able to create that kind of environment. Some other things that we have is communication. Communication is so critical. Yes. We need to sell, we need to inspire our people, we need to give clear directions, we need to delegate. Mm -hmm. The other is about leaders, how to run the, your business, how to delegate, how to innovate, how to plan, time management, yes. all the competences that, that they have. And a lot of different things uh, that go around any business owners, any organization, and any leader, mm -hmm. we help them to help themselves. That's wonderful. And, you know, you mentioned having that plan. I think that's something that the business owners mm -hmm. forget to have. You need to have your strategy, your business plan. That's correct. Many business owners don't write that. So that's one. Yeah. And then I was just learning maybe a, a few months ago, Someone had mentioned, I'd like to sell my business in five to ten years. Okay. So I asked, well, do you have an exit plan? And they said, no, why would I need an exit plan? <laughs> yeah. I said, but that's part of it. That's a key part of mm. where this business is growing. And you uh, loved it so much. Yeah, you're, you're so true. When every business owner start their own business, is because he or she is good in something. Yes. He, he is a, a great carpenter and he wants to create more table chairs and all that mm -hmm. but as soon as he started that business he realized that he need to start selling yes. he needs to start hiding some others mm -hmm. he need to do some marketing yes. and he need to retire someday yes. and he need to a uh, succession plan for that mm -hmm. and they don't think on that they just want to build tables Right. And that's why it's so important to, I mean, to be more educated on these kind of things. And I think those owners, so that carpenter is going to get further away from the real goal because yeah. he's so busy marketing, he's selling, doing You're the right. books, everything. And sometimes he, he don't allow himself being sick yes. because if he's sick and he need to go away for a week, it's like closing their business yes absolutely because he's the only one so he doesn't have a, a business i mean he is the business yes that's it yeah he's a lifeline and i think we can have that lifeline mm -hmm. we just need to make sure that we have a plan of action for yeah that. so all of that is amazing because we can get that through our classes through our partnership yeah. we've also made sure that your classes and other classes through the chamber are very affordable yep so you're not paying an arm and a leg it's very easy to come in dedicate anywhere from an hour and a half to two and a half yep. hours with you yep and then from there if they really like the class they can do some one-on-one -on -one coaching of course or they could or they could train their own people and they could get uh, some other kind of training that they might need wonderful i mean so on your personal one-on-one -on -one trainings with the business owners how do you start that how does somebody get to that point with you well once that we agree of, of that that he or she needs some one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching we realize what is the needs where he or she want to be on the next two years I mean we we create uh, the destination mm -hmm. uh, point I mean the B the B point and we understand what is the starting point. Yes. So we make a plan in order to get there based on their competencies, based on their resources. So we build a personal plan for them in order to take them okay. over there. And what that really makes is they save a lot of time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I know if we attempt to do that on our own, it would take a lot longer we're yeah. not unsure of what resources to pull from and yeah. with you specifically and they are too busy yeah they yeah. are too busy doing their business they have not i mean probably they might be great on creating their own plan but they don't have time absolutely <laughs> yeah they, i mean they are creating tables yes building tables and it's okay to ask for help yeah, it is okay. I mean, it is okay. They might have an accountant because they are not uh, uh, expert on that. Yes. They are asking for help. Every yes. time that they got sick, 
they go and find a doctor. I mean, it's okay. That's what we do. Right. <laughs> You're an expert in the business and the planning, and, and that's yeah. very, extremely helpful. Okay. Well, that's wonderful to know. Now, outside of the Dale Carnegie, are there any other uh, recommendations that you would have for our members and our business owners? Well, uh, probably one, one of the things, uh, one friend of mine uh, told me one time that, that I give you some advices, Jose, and one of them was uh, you need to have a great lawyer, a great <laughs> CPA, yes. a great CP and yes. a great psychologist. So you need to have that three and you need to use them. <laughs> if not, you might end up losing a lot of money. But uh, I will, I will just uh, tell them, we start a business for a reason. We never start a business to lose our family or to lose our health. Yeah. The most important thing in life is family and is to be happy. Yes. So don't lose that because you are so busy. Do whatever you need to do in order to have a great family time and to be healthy and to be happy. Absolutely. And you know, one thing before we kind of wrap things up, what I found very interesting about your coaching is you are international. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> you, you can tell by, um, by my <laughs> accent? By your accent? No, <laughs> okay. no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but I remember when we first came into this agreement of uh, hosting the coaching series. Yeah that you're not always here in the states sometimes you do this outside of the states yeah but I, I go to colombia central america here in the states mexico wow. because our clients are uh, i mean americans latinos japanese germans koreans and but nowadays business are business are global right i mean that yeah we have different cultures but at the end of the day, I mean, business are business yes. and they have the same rules. Well, I think that gives you on a personal level and for those who are seeking coaching mm -hmm. assistance, that gives that person a different perspective. They know oh, that yeah. you're coming to the table with this wealth of knowledge because mm -hmm. you've been to so many places, so many different mm -hmm. locations and integrated in so many different industries. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that's basically I have made a lot of mistakes I mean <laughs> and sometimes three or four times and uh, that's uh, that's the the best learning process I mean yes. making mistakes that's the best learning process and uh, I have been 19 years on this business and I have a great friends a lot of great friends that are very successful yes and that's why sometimes I drink a coffee with them because mm -hmm. I learn yeah. and, and they are very successful and I trying to translate their wisdom and bring it to the classroom That's to wonderful. say this is the experience yes. this guy is so successful and he is doing this i bring seth cisneros who is running 57 plants from general electric wow. and he's just 43 i mean uh, i want insane. to kill him <laughs> and so I, I used to talk with him a lot so what is your secret so i bring their secret to the classroom and I share with with them yeah. and that's important that's, that is important and it's so wonderful because to it gives us a better perspective to understand that even the most successful people mm. make mistakes oh yeah they we all make mistakes and even whether you're a millionaire or not the millionaires are making mistakes too and but learning from them yeah yeah that's the thing that's the, that's key. the thing I mean learning and that's why the trainings del carnegie has been 107 years i mean on, on business yes that means that we have a wisdom we have a planning process we have an innovation process we have theory principle we don't need to reinvent the wheel that's right i mean every business owner has their own challenges by understanding how to market their business how yes. to hire new people yes i mean we just have three principles to to deal with them we have a planning process don't reinvent the wheel i mean right. we have a lot of wisdom on the past and i think sometimes that's part of our issue is we don't realize we just need a little bit of help to stay on track mm -hmm. it's not a lot it's not 
overwhelming. It's just mm -hmm. someone like yourself could help carve out that path and we can get there a lot faster. Yeah. Yeah. With support. It's, I have another example. One, one person just graduated from our, our sales training and he has been successful on sales for 15 years. And when he graduated, when he finished the three day sales class, he said, oh my gosh, I told that I know how to sell, but I, I didn't have a process with this process, with these tools, I will make a breakthrough on my sales. Wow. And so far, I mean, it had been uh, uh, three and a half months since he <laughs> graduated and he has raised his sales in 193%. Oh my gosh. He's calling me every week like uh, I'm doing something great. The same, but now with a different process. Yes. Well, that's the wisdom of one salesperson with the wisdom of Del Carnegie, meaning the wisdom of something that works. Yes, it's been proven. And yeah. that's what I love about that. Well, so we'll be able to see you. It's this Wednesday, I believe. This Wednesday, <laughs> we're going to be at Centro Plaza, which is mm -hmm. 123 North Medina, and okay. Centro Plaza is their downtown off of Commerce, uh, yeah. but we'll be able to <laughs> participate yeah. in your class. Yeah, but I mean, that the, the topic, it will be the perfect communicator, and we choose that because being a good communicator is so critical in business, in life. Mm -hmm. So we will not talk about how you could become a perfect communicator. And how could you use that to inspire your employees, to inspire your family, to give clear directions and to reduce the amount of mistakes that we used to make on life and business? That's right. Communicating is so critical. And it is. That's probably the biggest barrier I think I've seen. It is. When I was <laughs> in the construction industry before the chamber, that was huge. And people bark in orders and mm -hmm. the people receiving the orders not yeah. clearly understanding how to execute. They, they don't. And, and for example, talking about generations, I mean, millennials, they complained that older generation, they don't, they are not interested of communicating with them. Yes. They say they don't hear us. Yes. They don't want to listen to us. That's right. And uh, we think the same thing. I mean, I used to say that from my kids. Hey, you don't want to hear me? I'm paying the bills. <laughs> So, there is a way to become a better communicator, and we will share that on this event. Wonderful. So, we hope to see you this Wednesday at 9 a.m. Centro Plaza. Please join us for another edition of West Chamber Pop-Up. We'll, we'll get you all the information on our future guests online. Join us on Facebook, and very shortly, we'll be transferring all these videos onto YouTube. So over the next three to four weeks, you'll be able to see the changes. We'll get you the messaging so you can track us on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And thank you to Commonwealth Coffee for allowing us to be here. We'll see you soon.